And now we are again back to our C-54, our Navy C-54. I want to show you the section of the aircraft, actually the tail section, the area where the tail section merges with the fuselage. This is actually an area that in many cases uh, separated from the aircraft on, uh, on impact, especially during each procedures. This is the junction here of the uh, tail section with the fuselage. There's a bulkhead here and this is what eventually, not always of course, but uh, can separate from the aircraft in impact. There were, there were some cases of this happening. Uh, the, um, the section can be seen pretty much uh, here in this graphical rendition that I have. Mm, in red you can see the part that I'm, I'm showing now, the aircraft. That's a whole tail section. There were some cases, doesn't mean that this necessarily happened, but if it did, this is a place uh, where it could have really happened. This is the, the section, the area. Hmm? Now we are on the other side of the aircraft where the, um, the cargo door and the passenger doors is located. And here my helper is gonna show the area inside the fuselage where the rafts were normally located. That's the area where the raft, the bags containing the rafts, was also, uh, always located on C-54. This is one part, this is one section. We have another section uh, close to the crew compartment that we'll show uh, in a few minutes. Now we are on the right side of the aircraft. That's the crew uh, compartment uh, door and this my helper here is pointing to the area where the, the, the secondary area where some more rafts are actually stored that's the uh, the uh, crew compartment in the back when, when they relax that's the place so that is not far from another um, cargo compartment door so we have the uh, rafts in the in the tail section and we have here the rafts in the nose section of the uh, aircraft here we see a drawing on, from the manual where the cowling of one of the engines can be seen I'm here under engine number uh, three on the right wing and there you can see the oil tank which is pretty much what we see here. There you go. That's it. So I'm gonna pan around the uh, just to show all the conduits that are behind zone number two. It's a very complex scenery here. And this now is the scoop for the cooler. Let me see if it can be seen inside. This is the air scoop for the cooler of the engine. Which can be seen in this uh, diagram here. If I can, the wind is not letting me but um, can you hold this for me? Thank you. I can barely see here. There it is. 
Hold on. There it is. Okay. Okay, now we're back or something uh, on something that we taped on the previous video, but I'm going to show it again, which are the CO2, uh, carbon dioxide bottles that are used to extinguish fires. Uh, this is what this particular aircraft uh, has. It has two bottles on each side of the of the nose of the aircraft which pretty much resemble what's on this uh, graphical rendition of a DC-4 that I'm going to show now. You can see the two bottles there, there's a number three on top of one of those. And like I say, these exist at both uh, sides of the nose, below the area where probably the radar was installed in the DC-48. Okay. Another bottle of compressed air that could have been lost at sea from the nose uh, landing gear well is the, this one that it, my helper is showing there with a pointer. That's the other bottle. That's the emergency brake uh, compressed air bottle. That could also float away and is inside, is on the left side of the uh, front landing gear compartment, as you can see. What we just saw, the uh, compressor bottle, can be seen in this diagram too, of a C-54. This is a diagram that we also show in our forum.